Hi again. I'm still with uh, with Cartier. Uh, in fact, we could do a dozen interviews today because uh, <laughs> talking with her is is just so uh, so exciting. Imagine being 18 and just taking off from Peru, Bolivia, and then doing uh, uh, a major camp, America. Mm. But I want to bring us back a little bit closer to home. During that interview, you said in getting ready, getting your application ready, you worked with the Life Work Centre. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about the Life Work Centre and how you worked with them or they mm-hmm. worked with you? Um, well, basically, like the Life Work Centre, it's not just like a career centre. It kind of just helps with any sort of goals and ambitions you sort of have in your senior years of school. That's what I kind of felt. And I originally went to them to get like the brochure and ask about Camp America because I'd heard about it. And then when I sort of felt like I was serious about it when I do the application, I started writing it up and, yeah, it was kind of quite confusing and I'm not very good with writing applications, so I kind of went to them to help me write it. And, yeah, they all contributed with, like, the wording and trying to include as much information as possible. And I kept getting sent, like, more and more questions throughout this application. Like, the moment I thought I'd completed one step, then the computer emailed me, like, another set of questions I had to email. So, yeah, they were very, very helpful in helping me complete my application. Okay. Now, did you do work with them in relation to making that uh, that decision that uh, you do arts at Melbourne Uni and, uh, yeah, and so on? Yeah, definitely, especially in terms of subjects as well um, throughout senior years. Um, they always, I think, they always made sure that, like, they'll meet with you and just check on how you're going, especially at, like, the beginning of the year. If you had, if you wanted to swap a subject or change around, they were very, very flexible mm-hmm. in terms of that. Okay. Mm. Now we almost lost you at the end of year eight, <laughs> didn't we? Yes. Yeah. You were offered a position at a uh, at a selective girls' school. Mm-hmm. McRobert was, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. And you said no. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, I just felt like it wasn't right. I don't know. I kind of sometimes go on instinct and it didn't feel right to kind of just leave and I didn't really want to leave and I was like well why am I going to leave if I don't really want to leave (laughs) so yeah no I didn't I stayed and it was good you don't have any regrets no 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 No, definitely not um particularly since like I felt like the senior years here were some of like my best years at the school Mm. as well Mm. well we certainly didn't regret it either (laughs) because uh, uh both in music and in terms of school captaincy, Mm -hmm. you made an enormous contribution Mm -hmm. to this place. What do you think about leadership opportunities here and uh, and the leadership that you had? Mm -hmm. What what did it do for you? Um, I think it really helped me kind of just be recognised being part of a team as well and teamwork. I think a lot of the you know, things I did, especially as a college captain, really helped me get my job in America. I put a lot of that into my application and they were very, very interested in stuff like that. And even the whole organisation, working as a team aspect, was crucial to working as part of the music staff there at French Woods. Um, we had to do a lot of organisation of students and, you know, we were all living together for three mm-hmm. months, not living in the same space, but we were all sharing the same workspace for long hours, mm-hmm. working in pits and different shows and it's very like high pressure Mm. environment Mm. which people take very seriously and you have to really balance that out and know how to work as a team and know when to kind of let someone have their own space or when someone needs some extra help and we're always all there for each other as well which is great. At at Eltham the the whole notion of teamwork, collaboration, working together is an important part of what we're about. We see that as being very complementary to the academic work and academic achievements of students mm. because they can't just go off into the world or into university and, and act as an, uh, as an island. They have to be working with, with other people. Mm-hmm. So when Cartier talks about being a, being a captain, she was one of six uh, school captains. Why do we have so many? For exactly the reasons that uh, Cartier has been talking about. They learn to work together. They learn to... Uh, recognise each other's skills and strengths and so forth and uh, together um, they made a uh, or they make a, a, uh, a strong student executive uh, executive team um, let me just finish off I guess by 
asking you how well you think you were prepared here to make the transition post post school was it um i felt like it was i felt like i was very well prepared for it um i went kind of straight into work after i finished school um after i finished my last exam basically three days later i started a new job and it was kind of humbling almost to be kind of at the bottom of the pecking order and have to kind of work your way up and knew a whole bunch learn a whole bunch of new things especially in an industry that I'd never really worked in before and um, learn a lot of new skills and work as part of a team as well and then kind of have that sort of goal as well of going overseas and preparing for that and yeah and then when I was overseas I felt it did really help me I mean when people sometimes see, you know, I mean, I was often in a group most of the time I was travelling, but when they see a whole bunch of young people travelling, you know, they'll try and, like, be charge you that little bit extra for that hotel room or try to, you know, put something else on the bill. And you're like, no, you have to kind of turn around and say, no, I'm not paying for that or I'm not doing that. Um, just because I'm young doesn't mean I'm stupid, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, I felt that, yeah, Eltham really helped me for that and be very confident in about how I approach things as well. Thank you. Okay. You're someone we're very, very proud of. <laughs> and, you. Uh, you know, I just don't think, for example, I could have done the sorts of things <laughs> that uh, you did, taking off and uh, going to South America and mm. so on. So congratulations because you. you've, you've <laughs> made a, a, a huge start mm. into an exciting, uh, challenging career. When you've finished arts... Mm. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I'm thinking of going into like music education. I'm not sure. Okay. Or just general education. Yes. I think that's kind of the only thing I really like doing. <laughs> you, would, you would be a wonderful teacher. <laughs> and, um, and we'll hold a job for you. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, that's like, that's what I'm kind of thinking at the moment. But I'm not really sure. Okay. Kind of just let it go with the path. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Katia, thank you that's very okay. much thank indeed. You. That's been a... Uh, a conversation with uh, Katia Rizzio, who's just returned from, uh, from uh, six months overseas in her year between, I guess, school and uh, starting her um, arts degree at the University of Melbourne. Thank you.